Hi everyone. Thank you for staying with me. Um, this is the second step of how to make cooking easier. And um, over here, I blended the sweet mini pepper with onion and seasoning and uh, some other different spice and I'm gonna now fry that in this pot which I've got I cooked the uh, sweet pepper in I'm gonna fry that and then put some more spice in it and some thyme and stuff and then I can put it away so while that is going on the stove I'm gonna start preparing this uh, fresh vegetables that I bought from 99 cent store. As you can see, this little bag of zucchini is 99 cents. In Walmart, you can get this amount like about for six dollar or seven dollars. That's how expensive it is in Walmart if it's not on sale. And this one is a uh, Mexican squash. Um, I bought that um, 99 cents as well. 99 cents is my favorite store. I can't do without that store. And this carrot here, I bought like a one bag for 99 cents as well. But uh, this is the last part of it. I've been using it um, in my cooking. But this is the last part of it. And I think I have about um, eight left on this pack. And I'm going to chop everything and put it away in the freezer that way whenever i want to use it or i need any vegetable to make something quicker i don't have to chop vegetables so as you can see all those things on this little sift i'm going to peel everything wash it clean with warm water and cold water and then i can chop it to any bite of my choice and then i'm going to put it in the, uh, the zip zip lock bag and put it in the fridge that way anytime I want to make my vegetable fried rice or vegetable with any kind of thing I want to eat or making soup I can just grab on from the fridge and just right in the pot that I don't have to peel it chop it wash it and all that so this is the second step on how to make cooking easier so what I'm turning to the pepper here I'm gonna put this in the sink and I will get back to wash it and get it started so first of all I'm gonna put the the stove on medium let's say on high right now it's on high because I want for it to fry a little faster and then I will reduce it to medium so I already have oil in here and um, don't worry about the color of the pot is because I steam the pepper inside the sweet pepper inside and this is why it's looking like this so I didn't rinse it off I know that the sweet pepper flavor is still in the pot there so I decided to just add the oil on it so don't hesitate if you need to know why the pot is looking at that just leave me a comment so as the oil is going, I already chopped one small little onion that I'm going to fry first into the pot before I add the blended sweet mini pepper. And I have this lemon juice here. I'm going to add lemon juice to it just to preserve it because the lemon juice is good when you are... When you are keeping something for a very long time, it's good to pull like a oil, salt, and lemon so that it can preserve it for a very longer time. So I have eight um, mangi over here, which is the beef stock. I'm probably not going to use everything, but I just put it on this salsa pan just in case if I need more seasoning in there. So I'm going to use... Either eight of those or I'm gonna use just four. So right now the pot is hot. I'm gonna put the onion in there. 
and you can yeah it's seasoning right now gonna put the onion in here I'm gonna fry a little bit while it getting brown like and then I'm gonna add a blended pepper to it So right now I'm gonna add all the seasoning, the, the uh, blended seasoning, sweet mini pepper in here. And I'm not gonna add a lemon now. I'm gonna add a lemon when it's when the pepper water dry off and it just remain only the oil. Then I'm gonna add the lemon juice. And I'm gonna add two bay leaf just for extra flavor. And I'm gonna let it boil for 20 to 30 minutes, and then I will come back to add some other thyme seasoning and some other spice that I want in it, just in case if it's not seasoning enough. Stay with me. Okay, guys, the vegetable is washed and clean. I wash it with hot water and then rinse it with cold water. So now I'm gonna be chopped in it now. Um, at the same time, the um, pepper sauce is going here. And the pepper sauce is a little bit spicy because I added seven habanero to it. So it's a little bit spicy. So that way when I'm using it, I don't have to add any other pepper there. And as I'm making the pepper sauce, you can eat it with dry rice, you can eat it with anything you like. Like you eating fish or chicken or anything that you want to eat spicy, you can use this pepper sauce. So you can use it to cook with it and you can use it to eat with it as well. So while it's going, I will get going with this uh, vegetable. Oh, you see how beautiful it is with all the different colors, the zucchini and the Mexican scratch, oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. I can't wait to um, get started in chopping this right now. So I'm gonna chop this vegetable and put it away. But since I'm a little bit slow, I'm gonna do it off camera. So please bear with me, I apologize. Okay guys, the pepper sauce is kinda drying off right now. I just tasted it and it has enough seasoning and salt so I'm not gonna add all the mangi I'm gonna just add four and keep four so this is what I'm adding it's already peeled and then I'm gonna add the lemon juice just to preserve it for a long time when you do this, you're making pepper sauce and you add lemon juice to it or fresh lemon juice. It makes the pepper to still longer than ever. So if you are making it for a week, it's going to last for a month or two when you add the fresh lemon juice or lemon juice. This one I just bought it uh, from the store because uh, the fresh lemon itself was very expensive so i just decided to buy this bottle 99 cents you know i'm a 99 girl so i'm gonna put like one and a half tablespoon and i'm gonna let it dry off some more so I'll give it like a 20 or 30 more minutes because I want the water 
in the pepper to dry out very well. I only want to see the oil into it. So as you can see here, guys, I already chopped the carrots, the zucchini, and the Mexican um, squash. And you can chop your vegetable in any bag.